Hey next to Rap Neighbors, Mario here again. Ants, 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 everybody's got them. Everybody hates them. There's a million ways it seems to try to get rid of them. What worked for me was borax and sugar. And uh, the important part for me is not only getting the mixture right, but spreading it out enough times that you're gonna actually make a difference because this is not instantaneous. The ant needs to take the borax back to the nest in order to kill the nest. It can take a little bit of time to do that. I've used it on red ants, black ants, carpenter ants, no problem, it gets rid of them. So I'm gonna show you my technique and hopefully it works for you and you, have, you can avoid having to buy some nasty chemicals. Hey everybody, we're gonna make some ant bait. Normally I would use icing sugar, but I find in the extreme heat the icing sugar and water has a tendency to get uh, get hard really quick. So I'm going to try something a little different. You can try regular sugar. In this case, the only sugar I have in the house happens to be brown sugar. So what we want to do is we want to get a uh, three quarter cup of icing sugar. If you put more in it, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be too exact. So let's add that into our into our cup and I'm spilling it all over the place as usual. Let's get that in there. And once we're reasonably close, we'll have a look here. Yeah, that's close enough. It's probably slightly closer to a cup, but it doesn't really matter too much. We're gonna set that aside. You're gonna need a container like this. The reason that you should get something like this is because it will have a lid and we're gonna shake up our solution once it's inside there. So, Let's take our brown sugar and pour that into the container. Then we want to take our borax. We're going to set this aside for a moment. You can see this was freshly washed container. I recommend that you rinse your container all the time so you don't get a big concentration of borax. And now we're going to take that borax I bought at Walmart. This is a 20 mule brand. And we are going to put one quarter cup in here. Actually half a cup. Sorry about that and it's hard to flow because it does get hard after a while. But that is about a half a cup. Looks good to me. We're going to take that and we're going to mix that into our brown sugar. Now, we've got this mixture. We're going to take this and we're going to shake the heck out of it first off. We want to get it blended in with the brown sugar the best that we can. May have to do this for a minute or two. Get that all blended up. And then I didn't bring any water. So what we're gonna do is we're going to grab a cup of water real quick. We've got a bit of a blend going on here. Now we're going to put in just enough water to make this fluid, okay? We don't want it too watery. We're gonna give that a little bit of shaking again. all blended up nicely. It's important to really get it mixed because the borax uh, doesn't uh, doesn't dissolve if you don't have a proper mix. And if it doesn't dissolve, the ants aren't going to want to eat it because it's in crystal form. On its own, ants have no interest in borax. So let's take a look and see what this looks like so far inside. And that's not too bad. You can see it's a fairly viscous product here. And uh, what did I wind up using? I wound up using Oh, about a half a cup of water to get to this consistency. So the key thing is, we want to keep shaking the heck out of this. So while I'm shaking this, we're going to cut the video and then we're going to go outside and we're going to apply this uh, to a number of areas on the property and we'll check back to see how the ants like it. See you in a bit. So we moved to the outdoors and you can see I'm still giving the shake. I really want to make sure this is mixed well. I can't stress that enough because if the borax isn't dissolved, the ants won't eat it, therefore they won't die. So we're going to uh, finish this shaking up and we're going to grab an old spoon and I'm going to show you how I apply. I'm going to apply this by taking an old tablespoon and the fluid and I get about a, qu a quarter tablespoon and I'm going to lay it down on the concrete driveway in a long line and I'm going to do that every five feet. The reason we do this is because if you only do one or two spots, you're not going to get much success. Ants are everywhere and they travel, so you need to cover a lot of the area that they're going to be on. So make sure you cover the bulk of your property, especially where you see ant trails where ants are constantly going back and forth. And then I'll show you the results of that when we're done.
So we've got the fluid out. You can see it's a very small amount, but I've stretched it out a little bit. And uh, I'm going to time it, see how long it takes for the ants to get there. Um, I did this one about a minute ago, and uh, I'll keep an eye on the timer. And as you can see, if we walk along, we've got more fluid here and another five feet here, and there's no ant activity. But let's take a look at the other side that I did three minutes ago. And we've already got ants three minutes into it. That's literally how fast they find it if you've got a lot of ants. And don't forget, this is not instantaneous. This is going to kill the nest. You need to do this regularly every day for a good week, okay? But this is three minutes later and they're already on it. It's been a whole 20 minutes. And as you can see, the word is out. Uh, they communicate really quickly that they found something to eat. So it'll show you just how well it works. Uh, if you come back in about a half hour from now, there'll likely even be more. Good luck with it. Pretty easy to do, right? Borax and sugar. You want to get yourself a little spray bottle from the dollar store, fill it with water, and then walk around and spray the spots that you have put your borax on, especially on hot days. Why? Because it has a tendency to get hard and they won't eat it if it gets hard. But you can refresh it with a little bit of water. Vary up where you put it as well. Don't continually put it on the same spot over and over again unless you, you do see a lot of ants there. Move it a foot away. That way it doesn't build up and the concentration of borax doesn't become too high. So hopefully this works for you and you can avoid uh, using some harsh chemicals. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna take a look at using dish soap to kill ants and other insects. It's amazing how fast it works. Keep in mind, it's strictly on contact. Once you spray it, the insect will die, but it's not a, I will crawl through it later and die kind of thing. Okay, so this is something you have to keep up. But if you're looking to get rid of large volumes of ants really quick, we're talking seconds, dish soap is the way to go. So watch for that video. See you around the neighborhood. Take care.